Hey everyone, what's up? It's Ventus, and I'm here again with Fire Emblem Heroes Arena on March the 2nd, 2017, if that wasn't clear enough. Uh, let's just start. No intro, no anything. Let's start by killing Tiki. With Tiki. Probably not. Because my Tiki's worse. Damn. Wow. Kagero, huh? Hmm. Unfortunately, Marth... I mean, not Marth... <sighs> we're, we're off to a good start already. Brain's not working already. Roy is a piece of garbage. So, this should be pretty easy. But Narcian is not good here. Because there are no blue users. And the only time Narcian's very useful is when he fights blue users. Blue uh, heroes. So, let's see. What am I going to do here? Camilla. Oh, Camilla's a threat, isn't she? Yes. Camilla Tiki, Kagero Tiki, Narcian, and Odin will gang up on Kagero. Watch this. So excited! That's the plan, anyway. Mm -hmm. That's kind of funny. I'm strong against Kagero and I'm weak against Kagero because we're the same unit. This Kagero is upgraded, but her stats are. Wow, she has a lot more speed. No, I have a lot more speed than her. I have more mm -hmm. defense. Wait, 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 what, what? I mean, I guess I'm technically two levels higher, but... Still. Let's go. Huh. I see. Okay, never mind. This Kagura is no threat, then. Um, Tiki's gonna be in range. Camilla's moving down here to kill Odin, I think. So my Camilla counter is actually not in range. That's rather unfortunate. Say the word. Of course. Let's move her up. Roy is moving up. Roy deals with Narcian really well because he has Triangle Adept, and yes. it's against Emerald Axe. Uh, so Roy is actually going to be an issue for me. So I shouldn't make fun of him. Very well. I know he's a joke, but watch this. And he's actually oh, going to be a threat. And he shoved Camilla away for some reason. Interesting. So how do I deal with the enemy Kagero if the Kagero is there? So excited! Ah, oh, damn it! I might actually lose this. I think I misplayed. Holy crap! I think I misplayed. Okay, if I one shot Kagero here, I think I'll be fine, right? It's whoever gets the first attack in, and I kill. So, as long as Roy kites, or doesn't kite this way, or doesn't go this way, I think I'm fine. Because Tiki deals 30... 42... Let's go. Minus 28. That is 14 damage, right? Doesn't outspeed. So I take 14 damage from Tiki. And she can't go this way. This way? Because the forest is in the way. So I'm going to kill Kagero this turn. And then next turn I'm going to take out Roy, I think. Or Tiki, either one. Either one of the red ones. And, uh... Oh crap, animations. And Camilla might be an issue. I don't know how I'm going to deal with Camilla with my Tiki on the left side. So i got to figure something out quickly, because Camilla's coming in and she's going to kill me with her Brave Axe. Yes. Narcian's going to have to do a, a full retreat. So, um... Let's see... If I go this way, it's... Yeah, Narcy needs to do a full retreat, so he's actually very useless here. Very well. He's not going to be useful for two turns, then. That's really, really bad. So this guy murders me. Actually, it's not that bad. It's not actually that bad. Because he's such a terrible unit, and he's low level. Watch this. Narcyan is really tanky, he's decently fast. He's got decent resistance, and his attack is pretty decent, too. He's got really average stats, I think. I think that's why he's uh, a relatively good unit. Because he's not he doesn't excel in anything, but he doesn't suck at anything, either. So he's, he's definitely one of those usable units. Uh, so let's actually let him attack me. Let's figure out yes. the damage before. So it's minus 40% damage. 10% well. uh, is 3.5. 40% is 14 damage less. 
So my attack is essentially 21, which means I hit him for 0, unfortunately. I was thinking that I hit him for 0 because of, of his Binding Blade passive, but it's actually, I just, I just hit him for 0. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's just poke at him for a while. And uh, I'm actually going to leave Narcian here, because I want to be in range of Camilla next turn to actually kill her, potentially. I might have to do a, a really risky play and poke down Camilla first. We'll see, we'll see. Roy should go into the forest, yeah. But this gives me vengeance, so it's not actually that bad. Almost gives me vengeance. Kagura also has Vengeance, so the risky play is poking Camilla down with Kagero, because Odin doesn't do so damage. Excited. Yeah. Let's oh, go. man. Yes. Yeah, I might have to just focus on Camilla here, because Narcian dies next turn to Roy or Tiki. Tiki dies to Tiki. Tiki needs to fall. Wow, this is so bad. I hate this map. I've never liked this map. Holy crap. I hate this map so much. I think next time I do this map, I'm just going to clump up in one on one bridge. That way I'm not actually separated by water. I'm actually just separated by like one or two tiles. This is this water is essentially one, two, three, four, five, six tiles instead of two. It's crazy. Unless you're a flyer, of course. If I poke Roy, what happens? I die, right? Because I can't kill Roy. I can't kill Tiki. Say the word. I can't. I just can't kill Tiki. My Tiki does thirty-seven minus. Okay, so my Tiki does ten damage. I can actually kill. Actually, yeah, I could actually kill her. But it's really scary because if Camilla hits Kagero, Kagero dies, and then I lose my ability to kill basically anything. So, how much damage do you deal? She has very high attack. That's a very, very high attack value on Camilla. So this Camilla is really strong. It's like attack plus, attack, uh, attack boon. Let's see, so 39. Let's go. 14 times 2. Yeah, so it's, it's lethal for sure. There's no other way around it. I think I risk it? Do I risk it? I think I'd risk it. Hmm. Say the word. Yeah, I need Camilla dead. So we'll do this. Absolute annihilation. Not quite, but close enough. Watch this. So Camilla dies here. Huh? And then Narcian dies next turn, which is really unfortunate. At least I got a Savage Blow off. Yes. 10 damage. 1, 2, 3. I need to do a full retreat then. Guide me. And then Odin can't do anything. If he walks up, he just takes free damage. But maybe I do want him to take free damage. So, okay, let's see. If I get attacked by her, I take... Oh, actually, hold on. Is Narcian too juicy a target for Roy to pass up? I think he is. But if they both combo onto Kagero, I lose my ability to kill, period, and I lose. But I don't think the AI is that smart. So Narcian's gonna die, and she's gonna take 14 damage. And then next turn, from next turn onwards, this map is mine. Yeah, Narcian's too juicy. Yeah. By you. 12 damage, or 14 damage. Why was it 12 damage last time? Is it is it her passive? Does she have a passive? Or is it some other reason? Oh yeah, it was her. Okay, so... So excited! So what do I do here? Hmm... Both of them will 
instantly die. But who's the bigger threat? It's going to be Tiki for sure, right? Tiki hits for 14 damage. And Roy hits for 38 minus Let's 25, go. 13 damage. It's, I mean, they're both pretty... They're both lethal, essentially. And I don't want Kagiro to die. So, what I can do is... I can... I'm gonna do this, actually. I think this is the only way to ensure that three units live. So I'm gonna kill Roy. I'll finish this. And then I'm going to poke Tiki using okay. Odin. This gives me a little bit of damage. And it brings her closer to her ability, which is unfortunate, but she doesn't double me. So she won't oh, get the what? attack next time. I hit her for 14, uh, 4, and then she hits me. That gives me Moonbow. Next turn I Moonbow her and then kill her with Kagiro. And that should be the map. Because she can't walk through the forest tile. Oops, I clicked. She can't walk through here, she has to go through Odin, so uh, yes. yeah. That's the strategy. That gives me Moonbow. Now I can kill her. So Kagero deals 25 damage, leaves her with 1 HP. So excited! Yeah, I'm gonna have to poke her Let's first. Alright, I think that was probably the best they could have done on the map. Um, given that Camilla moved around and Kagero went this way. I mean the enemy Kagero wasn't really right. a threat. But it, it forced me to lose HP on my Kagero. Because I had to kill her first, otherwise she would hit me for way too much damage. Damn, those march quests. I still can't finish the armored one. Uh, so when I pull next, I gotta hope for armored units. What was my score? 3,900? Ah, it's, it's not that great, I guess. It could be higher. It's because I actually lose units when I fight. So I don't get the full score. Robin. Okay, so Robin... As long as Narcian lives... Oh my god, it's Takumi. Shh. Ah. It's Takumi, damn it. Okay, well, Kagero can deal with Takumi. Narsin can deal with Robin. So we'll do it this way. Everyone kites left. Guide me. I I'd rather not guide you. You're pretty useless. So I'll put Kagero here because she can walk into the forest next turn in case I need to maneuver there instead. We'll put Narsin. Robin's gonna move either here or here. Narsin's not gonna be in range no matter what. Yes. There's a chance I might have to kite back again, okay. which is very bad. Oh, Robin actually walked into the forest. Interesting. So Robin's effective range is 1, 2, 3, 4. Say the word. I don't actually kill Takumi. Takumi's left Let's with go. 11 HP. Jeez. I could let Takumi attack me, right? So maybe I'll do that. Takumi has 1, 2... Oh crap, Takumi's range is the same as Robin's. That's really annoying. Hmm. I you know what I should have done? I should have just tanked the hit from Takumi first. Cause it lets me use reprisal against another target afterwards. He attacks me, I attack back, and then reprisal is on my third attack. I don't double him, but Save at least I can word. just use it next turn. Right. Odin deals no damage. Of course. Tiki deals decent damage. But Tiki walking up like that is just suicide. This is really sad. If Robin attacks me, 15 damage from Robin. I need Kagiro to kill Takumi, and I need Narcian to kill Robin. What if I just kite then? If I kite back, how does it work? Robin or Takumi walk here. Takumi could walk through there, technically. Which means if Kagiro stands here, I can get him to attack, but Kagura is not in range to stand there. So, 
One, two, three, four. Narcian moves here no matter this. what. One, two, three, four. Yes. Tiki could actually counter, but then it gives Takumi his vengeance. But next turn I can actually kill him. So we'll do it this way then. So excited! Of course. Let's go. So Takumi attacks. I counter. Tiki survives. He gets vengeance. But I have lethal now against him with Kagero. So it doesn't matter. He doesn't have advantage. Okay. So Narcian kills Robin this turn? Are you serious? You are kidding me! Watch this. Narcian doesn't kill Robin this turn. All right. Holy crap. I'm in trouble then. No, I'm not in trouble because they need to pivot around to hit Narcian. As long as Takumi dies this turn. He does die, right? Oh, wait. He got healed. Oh, crap. He got healed by Physic. Yeah, he got, hit, he got healed by Physic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The one time the healer is actually useful. Crap. Ah oh, man. So I lose a unit no matter what. Of course. Huh. Let's go. Is there any way to not lose a unit? I don't think so. Yeah, this is not possible. Yes. Do I want to lose okay. Odin? No. I need Odin to hit her. I mean technically Kagero could, but. Odin's a backup, just to leave my options open, because leaving Tiki alive is useless. Tiki versus Tiki, I just die, and then Tiki does no damage against Sakura. So Odin is, is better here. I mean, technically Odin does no damage against her too, but at least Odin deals damage to Tiki. So I'm going to sacrifice Tiki. That Physic though, right? That Physic was actually useful. You better go to sleep. Useless. Oh, crap! I just realized something. Robin can go here and attack her. That's gonna be painful. Yes. But I think Robin dies in return. Right? Alright! I'm gonna leave Odin here. I don't want Robin to hit. Odin for free. I want Robin to hit Narcian or Kagero. Kagero gets reprisal. Narcian doesn't take much damage. But then, oh crap, then Tiki walks up and kills Narcian. Ah, I can't help it. There's no other way. So he's gonna move there probably. I only do 15 damage? Okay, so if, if Tiki kills Narcian, then you I'm gonna be in big dead. trouble. Thirty-two damage. Okay, that's good. Yeah, this Tiki sucks. Yield never. Oh my God, Narcian! Oh my God, his damage is terrible. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious damage. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kill. Uh, I'm not gonna kill her. So excited! I'm gonna kill her. I'll do this first. This gives me Moonbow. No, it doesn't. Does it? It does. Breath of the Divine Dragon. That's painful, but it's okay. Cause then I get Moonbow for next turn if I ever need it. But next turn is is just Sakura. So I kill you this turn. And then Kagura finishes Let's you go. off. Holy crap. It's so hard. It's so hard to do arena with this team, because Odin is so mediocre as a mage. And then Tier 3 Garbage Tiki is garbage. That's all I have to say about her. Okay. 
Wow, nice damage. Say the word. All right. Okay, next map, next map, next map. I haven't been able to use Tiki well. Five matches? I think it's five matches, right? Five matches, I, I still haven't been able to use Tiki decently well. Because she's here to counter Hector, who just wrecks my entire team. But I haven't ran into I haven't run into a Hector yet. Catria. Oh, let's see. Catria, Merrick. Merrick has really high resistance, doesn't he? Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, okay. So Tiki might actually be able to do something here. Catria is upgraded. Plus one only. I say only, but that's still ridiculous. Catria is like the tankiest Pegasus Knight ever. It's pretty insane. She's got good speed too. Very well. Uh, but I can I can deal with her with Narcian. Thirty three damage. Yes. Yeah, she deals zero damage to Narcian. Selene is a piece of garbage. And before she kills me. Um, but she has reposition, so I need to be aware of reposition, getting units into range. And at least, at least it's just annoying. So I don't think I should need to worry about her too much. This is really annoying too. It screws up my damage calculations. Watch this. Guide me. Let's go. Oh, let's actually go this okay. way. Let's put everyone on the same bridge this time. I said that last time, right? So, catch raise range, one, two, three. I'll put Narcy well. here. And Merrick's range, one, two, three, four. So, I can actually tank a hit from Merrick. 40 damage, weapon triangle advantage means minus 8. 32 damage, minus 23 is 9 damage. 9 times 2 is 18 damage. Yes. Damage I deal back is 37 times 1.2, which is... 43. 43 minus 17 is... how much is that? 40 minus 14 is 26. So I deal 26 damage to him. Two hits will be lethal. But he's gonna get healed next turn by Recover. Recover is basically a full heal. So tanking a hit is actually not smart. All it does is reduce our cooldowns. But of it's not very useful still. Unless I can one-shot him. 25 speed versus 31 speed. That's a one-shot. But how much damage does he deal to me? Excalibur is effective damage against flyers. So it's okay here. 40 minus... So I, do, I take 12 damage. So I'm actually going to take a hit from Merrick with Kagero then. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Guide me. And then Merrick dies next turn without getting recover. Are you kidding me? What kind of strategy is this? I guess it prevents Merrick from dying, but... Oh my god. And the reposition put her over there, away from Narcian. Interesting. Hmm. That was interesting. Say the word. I think I'd kill Elise, right? I want to do a risky play. What I want to do is I want to poke yes. a... Never mind. Never mind. Forget that. Forget I said that. Okay, let's do some damage calculations then. Let's go. I have 21 HP left after Merrick. She deals 1 damage to me? She deals 7 damage to me. 7 damage. Selena has 33 attack, weapon triangle advantage. Uh, no, no weapon triangle. What am I saying? She deals 33 damage. 33 damage, 30 speed. Not a, Let's It's not going to be a double. I have 25 defense, so she deals 8 damage to me. 8 damage plus 7 damage, 15 damage. Say which means word. I live next turn no matter what if I do this. You have breathed your last. Shoot. 
right? Is that the right calculation? I hope it is. Narcia yes. moves here. So excited! Okay, so if I use Tiki to tank, then Elise will walk up or stay here and then attack Tiki, which means next turn I need to kite back to kill her, and Selena doesn't actually get in range of me. Now the issue with Selena getting in range is that she has a massive weapon triangle advantage against Narcian, and I need to take her out next turn. So I actually need her to be in range now, and I'll deal with Elise the turn after. Because she's not a threat, she's just annoying. So we'll just do it this way. Yeah, so Elise doesn't have a target. Oh, she kills herself too, right, that's also true, huh? Wait, why are you going- why is Katria- ah, why are you doing this to me? Okay, so how- why did I take such low damage? 33 minus 25 is 8. It's 8, right? Am I missing something? She took 5 damage. Let's go. Huh. Okay. Alright, so Katria is the biggest threat now. Katria is aiming for one of these two, I think. Just a, a revenge kill or... Killing Tiki. So if I can kill her this turn, which I can't... Okay. If I can kill her this turn... What happens? Let's see, if I kite back, she gets another free hit, Katria moves up, and then... Oh, I can use the bridge against Selena, actually. So I can leave Narcy in there, and then once Katria walks up, she dies. So I kite back again. Watch this. Say the word. Oh, crap, I made a mistake. Crap, I wasn't supposed to walk here. I was supposed to walk down there. Crap, I, I die now. Kagura's dead. Damn it. Because now she's going to walk up here, and Selena's stuck in the back. All right. So I'll do it this way. I guess Odin will kill... Ah, oh, shit. I screwed up. That was a mistake. I was supposed to kite here, so only Selena could attack me, and then Katria moves up to there, which is why Narcia was positioned here, so we can just... You know, go over there and kill her next turn. Uh, and then I kite back again, because I won't die to Selena. She deals 5 damage to me. But now Katria is going to walk up to me and kill me, right? Because she deals 33. Do I have a defense aura? Of course. She deals 33 minus 25, which is 8 damage. Exact lethal. Yes. Selena's 30 speed, 33 attack, 29, that's 4 damage, 8 damage, and then she gets countered. So Selena dies next turn if she attacks Tiki, so I leave Tiki there. And then I kill uh, Katria next turn. Oh, Selena does 8 damage now. Why does she deal 8 damage now? She dealt 5 last time, didn't she? I don't know what's going on anymore. Very well. It should have been 8 damage, but I thought I took 5. Maybe maybe I did take 8, and I just wasn't paying attention. Yes. Who needs experience? Okay. Of course. Of course is right. Of course you need experience. I don't think it's going to help much, though. She's such a terrible unit. I think even if she were a tier 4, she'd only have, like, 1 or 2 and ex extra in each stat. No, maybe like 2 to 3 in each stat. I mean, I guess that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. But I don't want to waste my feathers. Damn. I'm not getting that many points, huh? Hmm. 
Oh well. I mean, that's the challenge of changing up your team every every week or so. Uh, it's to have fun, trying out new teams, trying out new units. You know, winning is just secondary, I guess. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for more Tiki being useless. Have a nice day!